Hey, just stay for a minute. Lay your body on the bed, spend a day or two in it. If I hit you on the road, then I'm tryna get in it. You my baby, you my girl, so you all in my business. Late night doing shows on the road with my niggas, smoking pound after pound, keep a polo to with us. Hey, I'm so into you. Hey, little baby, I'm so into you. Thought I'd ask back. Let me text you like, hey, yo, what's up, the subscribers? Listen, y'all, I am back again with another reaction. And today we got that Glorilla Wannabe featuring Megan Thee Stallion official music video. They dropped the audio yesterday and um, let us know the music video was dropping today. So, you know, once I seen they was dropping the video, I had to be the first one to try to react to it. That's because, you know, I'm a big Megan Thee Stallion fan because we both Aquarius. It's team Aquarius out here. My ring light just died, but it's okay. I woke up early to do this. I got work in a little bit as well. So we're going to see what they talking about, even though we listened to it yesterday and it was going in. Megan was talking her ish. You know, she was dissing what she had to diss. Glorilla was talking her big one. So let's get to the reaction. Y'all don't want to do too much talking. Plus, I got to knock this out before I got to get ready to go to work. So let's see what's going on. Soldier. Soldier. <laughs> Next time I hear this beat, I feel like I hear that. Okay. This right here is my sweat. When it's time to eat, I'll be his main platter. Now, one thing I like about Glorilla is her, her flow. How she rap and pronunciate her words, it goes so crazy. That South Memphis accent is just something different. I don't know what it is, but anytime I hear it, I just like, oh, I get the chills because that accent is so fire. And on top of it, I love when she talking her ish. You feel me? She like a, a female version of a P. <laughs> Y'all know what a P is, a, a pimp. You know what I'm saying? That's how who she is in my book. You feel me? She fire as hell. And with her and a lot of, ugh, with her and Megan Thee Stallion doing a feature together, that makes it even better. Because both these artists is talk they mess, and that's what I like. NYC, New York Fashion Week, Tommy Hill, Jimmy, tell these hoes to stay down. You can never know what they need to say. If my niggas say he faithful, I still got a group on just in case. I can't lie, I used to say he's so hard, faithful. but still my old way. He's 300, 65 days in here. Come play with me on none of them days. Fuck it, play with her on none of them days. You don't need to run no cool. Don't know how to treat it like the fuck. Smack your mama. Uh, this is a lot of men out there need to be smacked because the way they was raised, they ain't treating women right at all. And I like that. She said, you don't know how to treat a lady. I to smack your mama. No disrespect. It ain't the mama fault. It's the daddy fault because he left. <laughs> if the daddy was around to teach these young men how to, you know what I'm saying, treat a real lady, it wouldn't be in the situations that they in. But off the rip, one thing I... Uh, that, that she said in this song is her man say he faithful, but she still got a bunch of other ones. How your man say he faithful? Glow, but you ain't been faithful. And then the women in the comments, well, just because he's saying he faithful don't mean he really is. These niggas ain't shit. And we already know. You know what I'm saying? Y'all ain't even got to break it down. I already know. 2024 ain't nobody shit. You know what I'm saying? So you always got to have sides, it seems like, for you guys. Just put a ring on it. You ain't got to worry about it. Pussy wet. Good ass neck. That's me. So why talk how I won't? Save a nigga who bitch. Do I look like fucking super woman? He don't want me say don't say that it's not my nigga don't claim me. Hey. About 20 minutes. I'm the bad. Oh, I like how Megan came in on this one. That's what I said yesterday. One, I'm glad they get up. They dropped the music video for it because just to see Megan, that new body type that she got, she's so fire. She's always been beautiful to me. Uh, now she on her fitness journey. She going crazy. And the way she came in on this beat, you feel me? She just talking her mess, you know? She just got out of a toxic relationship. So this is the perfect type of song for her to hop on a beat and start going her big one on. You feel me? Niggas don't want to be saved. Don't save them. You know what I'm saying? And just look at her. And she knows she one of the baddest. She do. She really do. Because she is. <laughs> You wanna be besties? You can get your wig turned like Effie. I don't need insurance cause a bitch can't break me, Brady. When I'm coming like pretty, I'm mother. And you know my trick is your daddy. Hey. That's it. Bitch, catch it. You look like a discount man on X. I'm the female type. I'm stepping on bitches. I'm showing my titties. I tore up the city. I'm P-I-M-P. I be whoring these niggas. He run back to me cause you born a nigga. I'm P-I-M-P. I'm ordering them niggas. He run back to me cause he born them niggas. Like I said, she talk her ish. She don't care. 
you see she already flicking off the camera and stuff. And that's one thing about Megan that I really like. She's dropping consistently now. Now, one thing I need is an album. If she gonna talk her big one like this, I need her to put this all on the album, talk her mess so I can see it even more through a whole EP album, whatever it is. Because Megan been talking her big one since she came into the game. She, you know, went away for a little bit. So I'm honestly, I'm glad she back in the game, killing it again, doing what she got to do. Because she one of my favorite artists that's female-wise that's out here. And she gonna say how she feel every single time. And that's one thing I like about her music too as well. Fuck is a layover. I ain't waiting. I get the back and I change this the nation. These niggas be crazy. I don't blame them. I'm a dog too home to change them. Hey. He don't want to be saved. Don't save him. That is not my nigga. Don't claim him. About 20 minutes cows, he faded. White boy wasted. Chill. Don't save him. I don't want to be saved. Don't save him. You feel everybody, nigga, don't claim me. Hey. Hey, the nigga trying to tell me what to do. You ain't my daddy. I'm not your baby. He don't want to be saved. Hey, my daddy. I'm not your baby. He's not my nigga. Don't claim him. About 20 minutes cows, he faded. White boy wasted. Chill. Don't save him. Now, I love the back and forth they got going. It's like a, a no hook type of vibe. It's not like one get a verse and then they stop and then it's a chorus. It's like back and forth. They both talking, they mess. They both saying they big one doing what they got to do on this track. And that's what make it fire. Then it's a throwback old school beat. We've heard many, many rappers rap on this beat and kill it. And I don't think it's been one rapper that's probably been out there that didn't kill it or at least did some decent on it. And with them, they did their big one on this one. Glorilla dropped the whole album yesterday. And this is probably the fire song on there because they both talking they mess up. I respect both these ladies. I love to see two black beautiful queens going crazy and just overcoming all the obstacles and just making it in the industry. Listen, y'all, press that like, comment, subscribe. I hope y'all enjoyed that reaction. Uh, I know I did. They both go crazy. And uh, hopefully we get some more class with them in the future. But if not, it is what it is. You feel me? We got a fire on right here. So, y'all, press that like, comment, subscribe. It's the Wavy Boys. And I hope y'all enjoyed that reaction as much as I did.